Hello, everyone, right here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Calmston. And as you can see from the message up top, everyone looks like I better take care of some sheep wool here for starters this episode. Since last episode, by the way, when I finished us selling all our crops, our wheat and our barley are all sold. And you can see we're sitting at $952,000. Not too shabby, if you ask me, right? I'm liking that. Um, anyway. Uh, oh, and uh, we'll get into this here in just a moment as well. Yes, we'll get right into that. Let me uh, take care of the sheep here a minute. So first things first, we need to move some wool. Speaking of wool, but I'd like to maybe get that uh, taken care of here this episode. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we need to like, put a placeable down for the wool, I guess. I, mean, I don't think there's one on the map, right, that I know of. Get this uh, moved here a minute. Ooh, and, oh, come on now. So yeah, we got quite a bit of wool here at this point, as you can tell, everyone. Just been kind of pushing it out of the way. It looks like about every, um, actually, I don't think it's even two days here. Or, yeah, two months, I guess, technically, the way the game runs it. Uh, we get a full, however many pallets that holds it. Six, I think it's six pallets, something like that. And then that's uh, full. So, yeah, like I said, we definitely need to keep an eye on that. The sheep are producing wool here at a pretty good rate, it seems like. Uh, looks like they're looking pretty good. Their health. Oh, they are out of water. Oh, okay. Whoops. Just know I'm like, the health is not good. Why is the health not good? I thought I had given them water here last time, but apparently not. Oh, you know what it was, Evan? I hopped in the tractor, pushed I. Gotta have the tractor running in order to unload this. That's what probably happened. Oh, and I forgot to hit refill, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, there we go. We'll call that, uh, that should be pretty good, right? Oh, maybe not. How much do we got in here? Let's go check how much... Okay, they do take a fair amount of water, don't they? Unfortunately, as you can tell, uh, the, the refill system here works pretty good. Unfortunately, though, it refills quite a bit faster than it empties, or emptying slower than the fast, slower than the refill, right? So you got to keep hitting the refill, though, as it just empties out, unfortunately, all the time. Anyway, uh, getting back up over here, everyone. Yes, <clears throat> you can see we got some uh, construction equipment sitting here. We're taking care of a few uh, problems on the map here. We started with this uh, issue right here, everyone. Uh, if you remember, everyone, there used to be an annoying... Um, stone wall in between here, Evan. Like, in order to get to our grass field, Evan, you had to drive all the way down this road through the gate over there. Narrow gate, might I add. Well, it's not, it wasn't even really a gate, just a narrow entrance, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, through there. Plus, then there's gate down there and blah, 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 blah. A whole bunch of nonsense over there. So, called in the bulldozer, Evan. We took care of that, uh, that wall. That wall is gone. I think we're going to maybe get rid of a few other things around here as well. We're, we're going to improve the uh, farmability of this uh, map, Kevin. That's going to be the goal. Um, so, yes, we're going to be working on that here. we got the uh, the Bear 776. I think that should move some stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, that should uh, that should move some stuff. Uh, I haven't decided what else is going to go here yet, Evan. Um, this whole yard maybe might go. I'm not sure yet. We'll see once here. Uh, speaking of selling, by the way, Evan, I ended up actually having the AI worker do some of the selling. It sort of works, everyone, except he keeps getting stuck in a few places. Uh, pretty much gets stuck every single time. I think it's right over here. Yes, these signs right here, everyone. He keeps getting stuck on these sides. For some reason, I don't know why. I mean, he, all he has to do, everyone, is just keep going straight down this road, right? Uh, he doesn't do that. For some reason, everyone, he turns in here, makes a turn across the field. I forget exactly. He, he comes in here somehow. I think, oh, he comes in over there, maybe? Where's, how does he do this? Anyways, at somehow, everyone, he makes a turn out of here and keeps crashing to the side. And then he goes around here, cuts through this hedge, cuts through this farmyard. It, I, it, why he's doing that, everyone, I don't know. There must be something not quite right with the map there or something. For some reason, the AI worker wants to cut through this yard when he can just take the road right on the other side of your straight through. And instead, he does some weird loop to do cuts through here, and finally, yeah, I don't know, not sure what's up with that. But anyway, he does eventually sort it out. I just need to fix him every time because he's stuck on that sign. And then occasionally he'll get stuck uh, down where we've seen him where he's on loan. He'll get stuck there as well when he makes that turn into that uh, 
into that road down there. But anyway, we got all the crops sold, everyone. So, we're now into the month of March. Can we actually plant anything yet? I'm not sure if we can plant anything here or not. Uh, let's see what's here. Oats. We can plant some oats. We can plant some sunflowers. Potatoes. Some, well, we're not into sorghum yet, are we? Uh, of course, I'm going to misplant the wheat and barley. Because like I said, I wanted to make some changes to the map. Update the map. All that good stuff here. So, that is all happening. Uh, of course, we got all our equipment here. Everyone, uh, it's all the same yet. Didn't have to worry too much about that. That was no problem at all. Just brought everything over. Um, oh, yes, we got this piece of equipment here, too. So, anyway, I think we're ready to start uh, replanting here. Everyone. In order to do that, we got a couple of fields here that need to be plowed, I think. Or actually, do they need to be plowed? Let's check this here a minute. Does anything need to be plowed? Actually, it shouldn't need to be plowed. No, it actually does not. Uh, 15 has fertilizer. Oh, that's interesting. Why does 15 have fertilizer? Oh, it's grass field. That's why. Okay. That explains that, everyone. Four has fertilizer as well. Uh, two, three, and six, and ten all ready to be replanted. Uh, of course, you can see on, on number six here does not have any weeds on it. That's because we plowed it, and plowing takes care of the weeds. That's the one advantage. That begs the question, I'm on, should we keep plowing, or I don't know. Let's see. We can do some no-till operation here as well, Evan. That's another option. I think what we're going to do, though, Evan, we're going to get rid of this uh, European plow. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier in this series, Evan, uh, I'm just going to make a shift here at uh, some point. We've kind of played the the whole European farming thing here to some extent. I don't know if I've done a really good job of it or not. Probably done some complaining along the way. But I think that's enough of that nonsense, everyone. Uh, we're going to say the heck with the European farming because European farming obviously sucks. Uh, antiquated equipment. Well, actually, <laughs> I call it antiquated equipment. This is probably like a brand new plot. Brand new plow, right? But it's like antiquated way of doing things. We're going to get rid of this uh, atrocity. And we're going to go buy ourselves. I call it American, but American style plow. Actually, are we even about to get a plow? We probably should get a plow, to be honest. That one might be a good idea. So, speaking of plows, I wonder if we go over to our plowing category, we can see all the, uh, the old European. I keep calling them European. I'm attacking that they are actually American plows. Although this specific design might be more European, I'm not sure, because at least in uh, America, I mean, I can't say I've ever seen uh, a plow like this, uh, you know, a flip-style plow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I can't say I've seen one like that before. We got a Great Plains Terminal. That's not really a plow. Don't know why they got that in the plow category. That's more of a more of a vertical tillage tool, I would say. Yeah, very, very much a vertical tillage tool. Uh, 26, 23, that also is not a plow. That's just a disc. Uh, so we're looking for some form of primary tillage oven, and I think we got, looks like we got three to choose from here. We got a 2720. I think we used that in the last map, didn't we? Pretty sure we used that one in the last map. We also got a 2730. Ooh, this thing looks wicked. Also interesting, I wonder why it has discs on. It looks like the discs are much wider than the plow itself. And anyway, uh, what is this? This is 7.9 meters, so definitely a little bit wider. It doesn't really look like 7.9 meters, though, does it? It very much does not, but uh, just trying to look at, yeah, that does not look like 7.9 meters. I guess maybe the plowing section. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I was looking at that. I want everyone, of course, we got the old uh, standby, the old faithful here, the disc chiseled. That's the older style here. So I'm thinking we might go with this one right here. I mean, this one looks like uh, interesting. I have not tried this one yet. So $58,000, and we got ourselves a much better plow, and we're just going to reset that here back to the farm, by the way. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Uh, well, this this might need a larger tractor, everyone. <laughs> Just saying. Wow. I don't know if the scale. What is the scaling right on that? Oh, maybe it is that one. Oh, come on now, stop. Stop it, tractor. So this tractor apparently suffers from the same problem. The massive failure does with the control problem. I still not sorted my control problem out, by the way, everyone. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen the last uh, few episodes, eh, I don't know how long I've been noticing it. But on uh, the Massey Ferguson and apparently this track here as well, everyone, when I try to go forward, well, it actually did go forward here. But then when I go to brake, it takes forever to brake. We can actually probably demonstrate that here. So we're pushing on the brakes. There's the light. There's the brake lights. I mean, that, that was what, a solid couple of seconds at least before the brake lights finally came on 
I don't know why it's doing that. Same thing with the Massey Ferguson too. And the, it's just like very, very extremely sluggish controls. There's the brake light, even though I was pushing it for like how many seconds. Um, go back to the Kloss here, everyone. I think the Kloss was fine, right? I push on the brakes instantly. I mean, instantly the brake lights are on. So don't know what's up with that. And then this tractor's like uh, down to like 25%. Like we need to do some repair on this tractor, right, everyone? Compared to this one, that's... Uh, Actually, down to 81% already. That's actually quite surprising. Uh, the only thing we did is that one plowing job with it. But yeah, this this tractor looks very small on this for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, like I was saying, I don't know that we need to actually start plowing this episode. We're going to go back to the shop here. And that is not the one I want to go to. We're going to go to this one here, plows. We are going to get rid of this atrocity. And that was what? Three and a half meters wide. I'm on three and a half meters. And it took forever. And I mean forever to plow that uh, that thing. So let me just park that there for now. Stop. Come on, tractor. Let's go. Okay, we're just going to disconnect that. And seeing as how we don't have to actually plow these fields, I mean, I'm thinking we're going to go uh, change up techniques here just a little bit. Uh, instead of plowing, we just need to maybe do some basic tillage on this field. I just want to get rid of the weeds here. In fact, we don't have to if we don't want to, I guess. What do we got for fertilizer? No fertilizer on the field. Okay, so we should probably start with some fertilizer. That might be a good idea. Uh, we don't need lime. Nope, no lime needed. Uh, get this thing off the field here a minute. Okay, not particularly fast, is it? Nope. I don't remember what the controls are. There we go. There's our dipper control. We're just going to run this out here as well, by the way. Which reminds me, I still need to look for a good spot to put down some wool production here yet. I'm not sure not sure where a good spot for that would be on this map yet. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, that's where these pieces of equipment might come in handy. You know, we might just have to bulldoze a few buildings here. Uh, get rid of a few hedges and whatnot, right? Speaking of which, I wonder if a brush hog will do that or not. Uh, definitely some more equipment. Oh, we do have a cultivator here, don't we? That would potentially work. You know, we might actually keep that piece of equipment. That one. I was actually looking at maybe getting a different uh, cultivator, but I forgot we actually do have one here already. Also, we got that small grassland roller here. We're going to get rid of that because the big roller does the same thing, everyone. So why uh, why keep this one? We can just use the much larger one and obviously much quicker. That one's gone. Uh, we got the power harrow there. Nah. Takes too long, too slow. Come on, track. Let's back up. There we go. I think what we actually need instead of a cultivator, heaven, we need like a high speed disc. How much is a high speed disc of some sort gonna run us here? Oh, back to the shop we go. So under probably it's probably on a disc harrows here. Anything interesting under here? We definitely got a few under here. Case tiger mate. Ooh, that that's a nice big one there, everyone. Brilliant cully mulcher. Don't see those used. Uh, this tractor is still rolling yet, isn't it? Stop tractor. I just seen that in the background. Okay, disc harrows here. We definitely got a couple of high speed discs. Oh, there's a Great Plains turbo tail. Okay, how wide is that? 5.8 meters. Yeah, we got more horsepower than that. We don't need something that small at this point, do we? Kinsey mock till. We got the John Deere one, of course. I rather like the looks of that myself. John Deere 2680. I wonder if it's actually modeled. Uh, it actually is a different model than this one, isn't it? So that actually might be properly modeled, possibly. Not uncommon to see everyone when it comes to some of the stuff. They'll just slap a John Deere skin or case. or They'll, they'll slap whatever color they want on it, right? 11 miles per hour, 6 meters wide. You know what? I think we'll just, we'll just stick with our current cultivator here for now. And before I cultivate this field, that one, I should probably get some fertilizer going on it. Let's grab another tractor here. Oh, what do we got? Massive failure? Come on, I'm stuck on the tree here. There we go.
Let's grab our fertilizer spreader here, man. We'll get some fertilizer going on this uh, field here. Oh, boy. Stop tractor. That's right. I forgot this tractor's brakes are pretty much non-existent. And it's drivability. Yeah, anyone ever tried driving uh, you know, in the game here, everyone, when you got like a couple second delay and... Uh, you folks just see that? What the heck was that? Okay, that was weird. Like, it just disappeared. Was I like, maybe I was like clipped in the building just right or something. I don't know, that was weird. Okay, do we need fertilizer? Ah, we got 64%. Uh, that should be enough for a while. And I am just going to get the uh, course play going on this here for now. So let's get the uh, course play worker going. Uh, there's actually course play course on this field already. Okay, cool. Generate a course. Actually, you know what we need to do? Target position. He's actually targeted on this field already. Done? Well, I don't know. Is he? Sure. Okay. Let's open that up. Generate the course. Number of headlands. I don't know. We need three headlands. Let's do two. Generate that course here again, otherwise we're going to be... Yeah, look at that course. That's going to be not much of a course. Okay, even the way it is, it's not much of a course. You know what? We might be able to get away with one. That might work. Quite a bit of room to turn around here. Yeah, that should be good, I think, everyone. That should be good. Of course, he's probably going to try to drive into that. Fine, I'll move that out of the way. I said, what's he blocked by now? His shadow? There we go. Haven't, uh, myself, haven't quite figured out the whole, uh, course play starting thing yet. Um, like, where's he going? Okay, well, we'll just let him go, I guess. I'm, I'm curious where he's going at this point. I mean, the, the course play course is over here. The, the starting point's there. I have no clue of him. Like I said, the, the whole course play where it starts thing and getting it to operate right sometimes. I haven't quite, uh, haven't quite got there. Oh, there's a line. Why is there a spot there? I didn't click there. I clicked down here, didn't I? What is he going over there for? Well, that explains why he's going over there. Some sort of marker over there. I don't know what that marker's about, though. That is weird, Evan. That is weird. Okay, well, whatever. Anyway, back to the whole sheep thing here, everyone. So the sheep are taken care of. Can I, I cannot remove horse field items. Oh. Remove junk in barns. Draw a custom field, huh? How do you actually, uh, like, operate that? Tag place farmland. Interesting. Remove horse field items. Is there, like, anything to remove anything else here? Water tank. Remove junk in barns. Let's go visit down here see what this is all about here, everyone. So if I go to your telling me if I go down here, this might be a good spot if it'll let me remove it anyway. Evan. This might be a good spot for some productions down here. Where is I'm saying it's right here somewhere? Where do we remove the junk from the barns? Where's that tag? Apparently stuck on something. I'm not sure what that's about. Won't let me through there. Okay. That's weird. I thought I was just in there like a moment ago. Now it won't let me in here. Weird. Okay. Where is... Yeah, there's definitely a collision around this whole barn, isn't there? Okay, cool. Well, exactly how does one operate this here? Remove junk from barns. Yes, I'd like to do that. Remove junk from take, take place. Well, I have no idea how you actually remove the junk here. That's an action option. But this looks like maybe a good spot here for maybe putting some uh, productions down. In particular... Go back to look here a minute. Actually, when you go to the shop menu, how large is... 
see once we need to go to construction production let's see nope dairy grain mill spinnery yes we need the spinnery so that's the one that takes the wool how large is this oh that would uh, potentially fit in there might be a little tight maybe depending on how we spin it around let's check it one there so yeah, we could potentially put that one in. Now we still have to have room for one other one here though. We need tailor shop, yes. I'd like to get the tailor shop as well one. And then we can uh, take the, the cloth, I'm assuming it's produced by the spinnery to the tailor shop. That's gonna be kind of my plan. So we just need to do a little bulldoze in here from the looks of it. Oh, let me demolish that, really? Interesting. Yeah, whoa, there we go, okay. Sell. For minus 500, oh, we gotta pay for it, huh? Selling failed. Weird. <laughs> it said sale and failed, even though it's gone. Okay, cool. Hey, there we go, now we can actually walk in here, except it doesn't get rid of the building, though, does it? I was kind of afraid of that. The building is still here. Hmm. I think I got something that can take care of that. Yeah, we'll take care of that here between episodes. I mean, that'll, that'll disappear. Then we'll come back next episode, and then we'll uh, maybe look at putting our... Let's see, which one was it? Spinnery. We'll put the spinnery down there. Now, I still need to find a spot for the tailor shop then, but we could probably wait a little bit on that because it'll be um, probably a little bit before the spinnery actually has enough cloth to worry about. Now, I could remove the horse field items as well, couldn't I? Well, just out of curiosity, like, what? Oh, I know what it is. So if we go over here, I'm just curious what the horse field items are. Yeah, it's all this stuff, isn't it? Uh, seeing as how we're not going to have horses, everyone, I mean... Is there any sense keeping that? Let's go see once how much that's going to cost for us to get rid of that. Go to the demolition here. Ah, there we go. Remove, yes, we'll remove the horse field items. Out of curiosity. You want to sell the horse barn for 5000 I don't know about you folks, but I don't think I plan on doing horses on this map, so might as well. We'll just get rid of that there, too. Anything else we can get rid of? I can get rid of the chicken pasture. Oh, wait, no, I can rename it. I don't want to rename it. I want to get rid of it. That'd be a perfect spot for, uh... Rename. Yeah, no. Doesn't look like you can get rid of that. You can rename it, everyone, but that is it, huh? Bummer. Can't get rid of the walls, either. That'd be a cool feature, everyone. Speaking of a uh, feature, by the way, I've not figured out how to get rid of the gates on this map. So if anyone happens to know how you remove the gates, let me know. It'd be much, very much appreciated down in the comments there. Okay, anyway, let's go grab our cultivator here. We'll start uh, cultivating. I'm getting distracted here by different jobs. So many jobs going on, everyone. Now, of course, with the fact that I'm not uh, plowing this, everyone, that means we are going to have to spray this for weeds. And when we do that, we need to make sure we do it right after planting here. It's essentially a pre-emergence application, uh, to my understanding. If we don't do pre-emergence, everyone, uh, then we will take a serious hit from spraying our fields with herbicide. Uh, that is something to uh, keep in mind, everyone. Apparently, if you use herbicide in this game on crops that are already growing so like you've reached the first growth stage um, you will take a pretty serious hit on your productivity uh, i'm not entirely sure what those numbers are but i've not uh, gotten around to testing that yet uh, that is one of those videos i'd still like to do yet just to see once you know what kind of hit are you looking at and, you know is it five percent ten percent twenty percent i think i've heard rumors of twenty percent of one in which case i mean that's i mean at that point, you might as well just skip spraying. I'm mean, just let the weeds, because the, the weeds are probably about the same as the spray at that point. Which, uh, by the way, I don't know about the 20%, but uh, at least some percentage would be real life. Typically, spraying uh, herbicides on growing crops, everyone, does tend to affect them a little bit. Might not be much, but it will affect them, everyone. However, at least in real life, I'm, the effect of the weeds is typically a lot more than the effect of the herbicide, right? Uh, if you don't believe me, I'm going to just go look at, uh, you know, a farmer that does not use herbicide. 
get some of your uh, you know more organic type crops right uh, where the farmers uh, not using herbicide on the field you know so weed management on those fields <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's such thing as weed management on those fields I mean, some of the fields I have seen where they don't use herbicide wow let's just say wow the weeds on those fields are epic Oh, there's a bale in this field, isn't there? Okay, I'm going to have to take care of that bale because that's not going to be good. We'll just maybe like slide it over to the hedge or something. Speaking of watch hedges, anyone know? Can you uh, take a mower to them? Like I said, when I told you folks we're going to be making a, a switch on the map here, that's enough of this uh, European nonsense, everyone. We're, we're going to make this uh, proper farming here, and, and that's going to involve maybe some chainsaws and some bulldozers, and uh, or, or, uh, we're going to do proper farming here. That definitely means I mean, there's going to be some changes in equipment here as well. Uh, of course, the plow is one of them. No more of that little single, single, it was a seven bottom, seven bottom mold board plow. That would, you know, take like 20 hours to finish a field. Nope, we got ourselves a proper, proper plow now. Which, by the way, I, I asked in the uh, videos here a couple times, I, mean, I don't believe anyone has ever actually like properly answered why Europeans use a moldboard plow yet? I'm not sure on that one. I mean, don't know. I said I don't think anyone's really given an answer on that one yet. Uh, by the way, when, when it comes to like no-till here, uh, I could probably no-till this field, except I got fertilizer on it, and I want to make sure that fertilizer gets tilled in um, before we plant. So that's the only reason I'm uh, tilling this field. It might actually do a no-till on a couple fields here. Oh, we'll see once I'm in. Except I don't want this many weeds on the field if I can help it. Don't know that it rightly matters, I guess. I wonder if you can spray the weeds when they're in this state. Probably could have one. The only thing is you probably also have to make sure you spray it again once planting, because I think the planting would most likely reset the weed state. And also no stones. Yep. That's right, everyone. We got that uh, nonsense turned off. So no stones on this map. We also have the uh, the rolling. It's on, of course, because I don't think you can really turn the rolling off. But all we've done is we've turned the highlight portion of it off there, so we don't have to look at it. That kind of takes care of the whole rolling problem, right? Not to say we won't roll our fields, everyone, but at least for, like, crops like wheat and barley, I mean, I don't think you necessarily ever roll those fields unless you got, like, a really bumpy field for some reason. And I'm going to guess the fertilizer spreader is probably almost done over there. Oh, and what should we plant for crops? I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe some oats, maybe some more sorghum. We're probably going to stick with more of the uh, the spring crops here this time around. Maybe we'll leave like one field fallow or something like that so we can get wheat and barley back. And well, actually, that's something we should check everyone because if I want to plant more wheat and barley, we'll probably kind of stick with the European crops. That tractor's still going yet. Why is this tractor still going? You know, like my hands are not on the controls. I stopped the tractor, at least I thought I did. That's the other thing that happens, everyone. Like when you go to stop, or well, if you take your hands off the controls, everyone, the tractor just keeps on going. It's like the throttle's stuck. And I would blame the controls, everyone, except for the fact, like if you go to the Claws tractor, it works fine on that tractor. Uh, in fact, I, mean, I went, even went ahead and unplugged my steering wheel here. Uh, I'm using just the keyboard and mouse at this point just to make sure, like, the, uh, I was thinking maybe something on my steering wheel, right, everyone? Maybe one of the dead zones is off. But that would definitely explain the problem, right? But nope, not in this case, everyone. So I unplugged the steering wheel, and it's still acting up. So, yeah, like I said, my hands are completely off the control. Well, okay, I'm steering now, but... Um, I am not touching any brake or gas here at this point. Not that it's really called a throttle in this case for a tractor. We're still maintaining 9 mile an hour. I guess we are going downhill, but still, come on. Everyone. What What gives? Okay, stop here a minute. We were going to look at something. What were we going to look at? Oh, yeah. Uh, character 9, not found in texture font in multi-tools, one pipe. Huh, cool. No idea what that's about. 
Okay, over to the calendar here. What would let us plant so... Okay, if we did... Well, no, that canola won't work. Sorghum. Oh, yeah, no, okay, sorghum would work. Oats. Oats would also work. Okay. Soybeans, definitely not. Potatoes, yep. I'm just looking at the crops that we, that we can plant now that would still let us plant wheat and barley here next spring. Or next, this fall, actually, I guess. Anyway, I'm going to look on time. It looks like it is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.